An 89 year old woman continuing to fight for her life tonight, attacked and robbed while walking into church. Good evening. It is great to have you with us tonight. I'm Jack Royer. As we begin this evening with CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark live outside UAB Hospital right now after speaking with her family. Michael, good evening. Yeah, this is an awful story. Margaret McCormick is at UAB Hospital behind me dealing with a broken hip, a broken leg and severe brain bleeding. And tonight her family says that they're just asking for prayers after yesterday's horrific attack with a long road ahead to recovery. She didn't deserve this. You know, we just want some kind of justice for five generations of 89 year old Margaret McCormick's living family members hope there are more days of smiles together ahead. She's the backbone. Uh, she's been strong for any one of us. If we ever had an issue, she's always there. McCormick's great grandson, Tyler Mason, says that's why he can't understand what kind of a person would attack her as she walked into a church. There's no words for someone like that. I've had a lot of people on social media say how they'd love to get their hands on him. Um, but the one person that is praying for him is also fighting for her life in the hospital bed right now. My sister Margaret was laying here. Margaret's longtime pastor, Homer Longoria, I've been over and I prayed for her, still has a hard time remembering his friends struggling on the ground. We believe it. You know, I'm a shepherd of this flock and of this sheep, you know, and, and I got one laying there, you know. Hey, you know, and it, I broke up. So tonight, when he hits his knees, Longoria knows he'll be praying for Margaret as he works to forgive whoever's responsible. There has to be another spirit to motivate somebody that has no respect for church, you know, have no respect for God, and have no respect for an elder person. Family members are offering a reward for information. A Facebook post was shared more than 1,000 times. And tonight, while loved ones remain by Margaret's side, they're comforted by the support from the community. I would like for her to know how loved she is. You know, I'd like for her to see, you know, all the, the shares and the comments, uh, the messages on Facebook. Um, I've had, I mean, it's, it's been incredible. The, the now, the Ohachi police chief said that he was coming to the hospital tonight to check on Margaret and to see if she remembered anything else. Her family members tell me that she seemed to recall a blue vehicle in the area Sunday morning. But if you know anything about what happened, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers in Calhoun County. That number, 256-238-1414. Again, there's a $1,000 reward from the family, and you can remain anonymous through that number. For now, reporting live outside UAB Hospital tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.